Mention an Aston Martin and a famous spy may come to mind. It remains the franchise's best-known James Bond car, making a reappearance in the movie Skyfall. While the Aston Martin is 007's car of choice, the automaker is shifting its focus to something a little less testosterone-driven, putting more women in the driver's seat. Why don't women drive Aston Martins? I think you'll agree that they're beautiful. Uh, and, and most women, I think, would agree that they're beautiful, but they tell you that they're not the car for you because they're a little bit intimidating, a little bit imposing. So what are we doing about that? Well, we're creating the DBX, and this will come out within our midterm plan, which is called the Second Century Plan. And it's basically a car designed around the ergonomics of a woman. So it's a beautiful sports car. That's why it's called DB. But the X, which is crossover, crosses over into that SUV space. According to Forbes, women buy over half of all the new cars in the United States and are making up over 80% of all the car buying decisions. With numbers like that, it's no surprise that car makers like Aston Martin are targeting female drivers. And it's not the only one. Luxury car makers like Maserati and Porsche are also trying to put more women behind the wheel. Last year, Maserati unveiled the Ghibli, a sports sedan retailing around $75,000, targeted towards professional women and upper-middle-class mothers. Porsche has also been trying to lure more women to take the wheel. Although the company has been a little less deliberate about marketing to women, it has diversified its reach. When Porsche launched its luxury four-wheel drive SUV, the Cayenne, over 10 years ago, it was able to attract a larger audience. Today, more than 20% of all Porsche drivers are women. Clearly, there's a huge opportunity there if we get it right. You don't make cars for women by being patronizing. So pink it and shrink it is absolutely not the way to go. And there's plenty of people in our industry have tried it. You need to do it genuinely. While pink it and shrink it may not be an option, car makers are paying close attention to the female form ensuring that design, craftsmanship, and user-friendliness will see more women rev up their engines and help give sales a turbo boost. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.